if you are looking for a free tool which you can use to create a random synthetic data set in order to get your llm fine tune and train then have a look at this open source tool by microsoft this tool enables you to create a synthetic data set on different types of data sets for example if you go through this github repo and i will drop the link in video description these are the types of data sets which you can create for example if you can create multiple choice question underscore two which is a subset of data set focusing on multiple choice question answering with two primary data set one is pika which is physical interaction question answering emphasizing reasoning about everyday physical tasks or we have a vino grande which is a data set challenging models on common sense reasoning through sentence completion tasks then we have mcqa underscore five which is another multiple choice question or mcq answering subset this time with five data sets first is csqa which is common sense question answering focusing on assessing models understanding of everyday scenario or you can have riddle sense which is a data set aimed at solving riddles testing creative and lateral thinking capabilities then another type of data set which you can create is yes no close which is a category of data set where questions expect a closed yes or no including bool queue or boolean question which is a data set with questions naturally occurring in google search queries answered with yes or no or creek which is a data set specifically designed to test models on their ability to handle binary yes or no questions under complex conditions or you could have strategy qa which focuses on requiring models to infer the steps needed to answer yes no questions that involve common sense reasoning then we have this yes no open data set which you can create with it these are the data sets that involve open ended questions requiring a yes or no answer including more complex or nuanced context in this one we have three types the bio asq which is primarily the biomedical questions that are open ended requiring yes no answers but based on detailed biomedical knowledge then again we have bool queue or boolean question which is a data set with naturally occurring such derived questions requiring yes or no and then we have pubmed qa which is a data set for yes no biomedical questions that are open ended requiring reasoning over biomedical research articles so whatever your use case if you need a, need a random synthetic data set which you can use in your llm for fine tuning or training you can come to this tool and then generate any sort of this data set or multiple ones and how do you do it in this video i will show you how you can get it locally installed and then how you can create this data set now now we know what this tool does and what sort of data set it can create synthetically let me take you to my local system and from there we are going to first install it and then we will create a simple mcqa2 or uh, in the or maybe we will go with the yes no close in the boolean q1 because that is the simplest okay now um, let me take you to this github repo first scroll up click on this green button and grab this url this url is the github repos url and i will drop the link in video description let me take you to my local system and i am running ubuntu and ubuntu is 22.04 now let me clear my screen and let's do git clone and the url of this repo that is done let's go into this repo be clear and then you just do ls dash ltr so all of these data sets um, their samples the input sample because it needs some input value are present in this data directory so go to cd data and these are all the ones which i just explained to you what they mean like mcq 2 5 yes no close yes no option let's go to yes no close because that is what i am going to use for this example and in this one i am going to use the boolean q1 in this one once we have development one testing one and the training one now uh, instead of showing you here 
I am going to take you back to the GitHub repo and quickly show you the sample values of that data set. Let's go to this data directory. Let's go to this yes no close boolean question and then maybe I'll just show you one of this. These are they are in the JSON L format, so it means every JSON line is in on the next line. You see that in this one, first we have question, then context is null, and then either it is true or false, and because it's a closed one, so we have the answer as false here. And true, false, true, false. So this is what this uh, we will be inputting. So what what would happen is the LLM will browse through browse through these files and create a synthetic data set on the basis of uh, these values. Now another cool thing is that you can when once you look at this github repo you can see that you can either create a similar data set a random one diverse or even naive one or you can create a tree structure i am going to go with the random one just to make things easier and i am just going to create one example per iteration okay so that's out of the way now we know what it looks like let's go back to our github repo let's go to the root of our github repo okay, let's clear the screen that is done now once in the root directory let's do ls-ltr and then there should be a json file which is openai underscore config because it uses openai's model so you need to have the openai's api key that is a paid option you would need to go to platform.openai.com and get that just put in like five ten dollar in it and then play around with it so let me paste my open ai key here in the vi editor in this text file and then i will save and exit that file file is saved let me clear my screen i'm in the root of this github repo next step let's install all the requirements pip install r dash requirement let's wait for it to finish so most of the stuff is already installed on my system which is good let me clear the screen so these are all the prerequisites which we need to meet now in order to run this let me first show you the exam uh, command and then we will run it so this is a command which we need to run so python3 data underscore creation dot py this is the script we are calling which is already present here then i am just going with yes no as i told you i am using data set name boolean question for the sake of brevity and my wallet i'm just going with one example because this is a paid option this is a seed number which is just you can just give it an any number and then setting is random as i showed you earlier you can set it to naive similar or diverse whatever sort of data set you want to generate so i will run it it, it is going to take some time once it generates it i will show you how the uh, resultant data looks like so let me press enter it is running at the moment let's wait for it to finish okay oh okay so i need to fix that error I think what is happening here is I'm using the different version of OpenAI. So I think I need to pin my installation to the older version. So let me go there. So I have just gone with the older version of it and let me run it again. There you go. You can see that now it is running successfully. It is generating. Let's wait for it to finish. It don't take too long. There you go. So it has generated the data set. Let me scroll above. You can see it is asking, is the moon a planet? And then true false uh, value is false, which is correct. So it has just generated this with different sort of stuff here. Like if I go at the top, then this is where we got the error and then it got fixed. I just did this pip installation open here. And then you can see that does the ball have to bounce in a racket ball? True or false, it is true. Does a touchdown in a football score seven point false or true? It's false. Is the capital of France London? It says true, which is false, so it is the wrong answer anyway. So you can't trust the data set. This is one glaring example here. Synthetic data set, I mean. Maybe uh, it will, but no, I think it is saying it's the capital of Japan, Tokyo, which is true. But here it is saying false. So maybe it is, uh, it will. Uh, when you make multiple iterations because in this one i am not making multiple iterations just to make sure that my open ai 
uh, throttling is not it doesn't block my open a key or uh, i just don't rack up some uh, massive bill anyway but you if you have that um, thing available to you this is a good tool to generate even a small synthetic data set for you i believe and if you have azure ai studio i think you can set these values easily but i think a good tool um still a lot of improvement which can be done in my opinion maybe some open source model but again it is from microsoft so you never know um, that if they would support the open source or not but now you know how to install it and play around with it and create a synthetic data set any questions please put them in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please uh, share it among your network as that helps a lot thanks for watching